Hey, what's up everybody? East Philly here. Today, we're going to do some stuff outside. It is nice out. It's a little over 60 degrees out right now, which is very nice for February. Uh, I have my car here, and as you can see, it snowed recently. So my car is a little dirty, not too dirty, uh, but it's a little dirty. It's not super muddy, it's not super grimy or anything, but it still has some snow salt and grime on there. So I'm going to see if I can do a touchless wash on this. That means I'm not going to get a bucket out, fill it up with water and soap, get all the mitts out and all that. I'm going to use this foam cannon thing that I bought with my pressure washer, and I am going to rinse the car off, foam it down, rinse all that off, and then I'm going to use some like wash and wax type of soap. Put that in here as well, spray it with that, rinse it off again, and we're going to see what the results are. So this is going to try to do an at-home touchless wash. I'm going to be using this Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash for the initial foam down. I'm using that to try to break up any particulates or anything that's on the car uh, just to help it break down more. I'll rinse it off with the power washer and then I'll go to the super foaming car wash with the shine. I thought I had wash and wax like a Meguiar's wash and wax but I don't. I don't have that anywhere. No I do not. So I'm just going to use these two. In the future I'll probably buy a wash and wax to use with this to see if that works any better so that I don't have to spend time waxing the car. You don't have to wax the car every time that you wash it, but I like to do it just to have that extra protection. First thing we're going to do is rinse the car off. Typically if I'm doing a full wash with the buckets and the mitts, I'll just use a regular hose to wash it off. Right now I'm going to use the pressure washer, but I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be staying about three feet away from it, and the nozzle is going to be about a foot and a half to two feet away from it. You don't want to get it up close because there's too much pressure. It's a pressure washer, and with these tips, it can use too much pressure, and it can strip the paint if it hits a chip. So I'm going to be standing back a bit, and I'm going to start just rinsing all of the crap off. And like anything with washing, you want to start from the top down, So anything you wash off the top is going to start going down to the bottom. And you're going to continue over all the panels. I'm not going to show you me doing all the panels or a time lapse because I don't know where my tripod is to really do that for you. So I'm just going to rinse it off and then we'll go to the next step. The car is entirely rinsed off. You can see that the water isn't really beating up too well around here. I think that's mainly because of the pressure washer, how that kind of works and sprays the water. But it's looking pretty good. I uh, took most of the road salt off and the grime off and there's still some on there so that's why we have to go into the foaming process to really break it up. So I'm going to get the foam cannon on and I'm going to show you how I kind of just sprayed on and we're actually going to leave the foam on there for a while. Uh, we're going to rinse it off. I might foam it twice depending on how much foam we use and how much it takes and then it'll get rinsed off and then we'll go to the washing set. So now we're getting to the foam cannon and you can see I did a little bit just to have it set up. The nozzle on this one it is a little hard to set up correctly uh, just because of how the tolerances are but I'm going to start foaming everything down so you can see how it works. I really want to let that soap <clears throat> kind of set in and do its job. Foam up It'll pick up the particulates as it's foaming, which is the point of a foaming wash. You see it's doing pretty good. There is a lot of streaking here still, which if I wipe it comes off. But we're going to see how it looks after a rinse. Okay, so the foam has been setting on the car for about 3-4 three, three, minutes right now. And I'm going to start rinsing it off again from the top down. <coughs> uh, again, I'm not going to get too close, but I'm going to try to get all the soap off before I move to the next step. I'm not going to use the Chemical Guys foaming part again because I don't feel like using too much of that up and I'll just switch over to that turtle wax wash. So let's start this. <laughs> A little 
tip that I just remember when I'm doing this, whatever direction you're working in, so I'm working from the back forward, you want to kind of angle yourself in that direction. Because if I'm sitting here working from the back forward and I'm going like this, I'm spraying all that soap toward the back. So as I'm going down, I want to be kind of angled a little bit, and I want to spray all the soap forward so that it just hits the rest of the soap and I'm not pushing everything everywhere. And you can still see that this isn't doing that great of a job because you can see that little streak that I made and if I do that and make another streak I'm not sure how well this is showing up on camera but that is dirty water there still so this is why a touchless wash at home isn't going to be great it's not going to get scrubbed too deep into the paint to really wash it all it's not into the paint but kind of wash everything off the clear coat because it's not actually getting rid of all the this fine particulates that are on your car after driving it but we're going to see how well it does after the other soap and after a few more rinses Car's rinsed off. Now we're going to be using the Turtle Wax Ultra Shine Car Wash with the foam cannon. I've never actually used this in the foam cannon before. It doesn't foam up like the other stuff. I don't know if it's even supposed to, but we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> So it does foam up pretty good with the foam cannon, not as much as I would expect, but it's not really, it doesn't really say on there to use it with a foam cannon. You usually just put it in a bucket. I'm going to use this up, I'm going to rinse it off, and then I'm actually going to test the optimal no rinse that I have to see if that does anything different. Uh, it's also a no rinse formulated uh, wash, so I won't really have to worry about drying it off too much and worrying about... Uh, baked in water spots as I might worry about with something like this so we're gonna see how that how well that works after we do this okay round two is over I did two full coats with the turtle wax I put the turtle wax on let it sit I rinsed it off I sprayed the whole thing with the turtle wax again did a full rinse off with the higher pressure nozzle and you can see that there's still streaks all these lines right here are dirt streaks and they are not coming off when I rub my finger across it there are lines it is still dirty so obviously this is not the best way to wash your car it's a good way to get the majority of the grime off it's a good way to make it look shiny and nice but this is not a good alternative to a full wash down with mitts and soaps and buckets I am going to go one step further just to see how much this will work but I'm going to use some optimum no rinse to wash it down again and then I'll rinse it off and I'm probably going to leave it at that. So here we go with the optimum no rinse. Uh, the directions are two ounces of no rinse in a, or one ounce of no rinse in a two gallon bucket of water. Uh, so I put about two ounces into this kind of kind of keep it undiluted I concentrate it a bit more hopefully that picks up a little bit more of the grime and we'll see if this works uh, I don't think it's gonna foam up I tried it a little bit it doesn't really foam I don't know if that's because I use too much no rinse per the water or what but we're gonna see how this works and uh, I'll show you the results Okay, so here we go. The optimal no rinse, it cleans off a lot nicer. It beads up real nice. Uh, the theory behind it is you don't have to rinse it off. You can just go right from that to drying it if you really need to or just driving it fast. I'm actually going to get a leaf blower and dry it off with that. Uh, but as you can see, maybe it's still streaky and dirty. And if I do that, it's, it's still dirty water on there when you mix the dirt with the water. And I even got a little closer than I should have with the pressure washer and that didn't wash it off either so you can really see that it doesn't really work as a an alternative or as just doing it instead of uh, a mitt wash because when you use a mitt you're picking up all that dirt into the microfibers 
and you're cleaning all that dirt off. I'm not going to show the whole process of washing it down. I am maybe going to try some simple green on it to see if that works, just to see if that picks up the dirt any better. I was hoping that after using three different types of wash, it would kind of pick it up, but it doesn't. So no, this is not a good alternative to a real wash. It might be better than going to a touchless wash. I've gone to touchless washes that don't even get the dirt off, just like you see here. Uh, I wouldn't use that as an alternative to a hand wash. I would never want to use the washes with the brushes, the car washes, because you don't know what, the, on the, what are on those brushes, how often they're cleaned off. You don't know if the water at the car washes is recycled water uh, to save just to save money so that they're not using uh, constantly using water like I am here I've used a lot of water using this pressure washer and washing my car if anyone's interested this is what the simply green looks like when used in a pressure washer it's actually a little weird I'm gonna see if you can hear it uh, once I sprayed on it's actually making like a fizzing sound like it's trying to foam but it's not really working I don't know if that's picking up dirt better I don't know if that's doing anything but uh, I'll see if you can hear it. So you can kind of hear that going on. I don't think it's doing much. You can still see those streaks in there. I want to see what it looks like after we rinse it. But since I made this bottle worth, I'm just going to spray the whole car down. Simply Green did a whole bunch of nothing. Again, it left all that dirt and whatever on the car, which was not the intention of any of this. The intention was to try to do a full touch wash to see if we can get all the dirt off. And Simply Green is a pretty powerful degreaser. I don't know if maybe I diluted it too much. I didn't use enough of it, whatever, but it didn't work to the intention that I had for this video. So what is the result? The result is it's probably better than going, it's definitely better than going to a car wash that has brushes in terms of your paint. It's not better in terms of actually cleaning off the car, but you're not going to have a bunch of scratches and swirls. It's, <clears throat> I'm not going to say it's better or not than a touchless car wash because they use much harsher chemicals. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them do. And that's how you really get the dirt off, but they're not that safe for your car if they don't use the right equipment in the right chemicals. Uh, it's definitely not better than hand washing at home with a mitt and using a variety of methods, uh, but it is better than just leaving your car out in the rain and letting the rain take care of it. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do this as a long-term test and try different types of washes, do some research to see what's harsh enough to get the dirt off but safe enough for the paint to use as a touchless wash in between hand washes. I definitely hand wash my car more often, uh, probably once every two to three weeks if I can. In the winter, it's a little harder to do. I wanted to see this for the winter. So we've been having very cold weather uh, with a day or two of nice weather. And I don't want to just waste that nice day out here washing my car for an hour or two. I wanted to try something that gets the majority of all that salt and road grime off my car and all the dirt and that's good enough until I do another hand wash. And in the winter, that's a little bit more necessary since I hand wash less. And I don't feel like using my little indoor foamy thing with the expensive washes from MONYC. So this is something good enough for the winter when I can actually get outside for half an hour to do this. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down and that's okay. But if you do dislike the video, please let me know in the comments below so I can make this channel better for both you and me. I'm East Philly, and I'll see you all next time.